Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Grashow, and I'm a child psychologist in private practice here in South Florida. Let's talk about how to diagnose depression in children. There really is no one simple test to use. Oftentimes it's a combination of things. Um, we can do a clinical structured interview. There are self-report scales. There are reporting scales for parents and teachers. Uh, and we're looking for the classic symptoms uh, that we would look for in adult depression, but then there are some other things that we see in children. So we're looking for feelings of guilt and worthlessness, of course, a sad mood that's unrelenting and it persists for several weeks. And um, with children, we also see more irritability. We see more somatic symptoms such as headaches and stomach aches. And sometimes we'll see uh, a rise in separation anxiety or a reluctance to meet new people in children who are depressed. Depression is uh, fairly common in children. It's more common in adults. Um, and it doesn't get better if it's left untreated. But the good news is that it often responds very well to treatment. So if your children are exhibiting any of these signs and you're thinking about whether or not they might be depressed, please don't just sit back and wait. Ask your pediatrician, ask someone, a guidance counselor at school, because as I said, depression really does respond well to treatment.